Hi, my name is Dennis Lenart, and I was a director on Back to the Future of the Game. We're super excited to bring this out of the Telltale Archives onto Xbox 360, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One for the first time to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the films. So our game starts after the events of the third film. Um, everything, you know, the timeline has been repaired, everyone's back to normal, and we kind of say that some time has passed, and now Doc Brown has disappeared. Uh, Doc, where are you? Bob Gale actually had a really good note right up front when we started, which was time travel is always the problem, not the solution. And I feel like that was the key to the entire understanding of the, the series for us. Marty, get in. This timeline's been compromised. No kidding. One of my favorite aspects of the game is meeting young Doc Brown and seeing Doc Brown trying to figure out science. What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you think you're doing? It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Another like really important part of the process for us was getting the actual actors from the movie to be involved. Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Getting Michael J. Fox involved for a cameo in episode five was really great, and I felt like we got to use him in a really cool way where we went really far back in time and got to meet him as one of Marty's ancestors, as they do in the films usually. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Of course, you gotta have Einstein, there's gotta be Biff, there's all the characters. It's just the classic thing they do in those movies. We had to bring them all back. There's never gonna be a Back to the Future Part 4. We're not doing that. But Telltale's Back to the Future game is pretty close to what a Part 4 could be. In time with the 30th anniversary of the films, watch the movies first get back the nostalgia, and then right after the movie ends, you can pop in the game and continue the story from there.